hey folks if you could remember to click that like button it really helps out the page a lot and if you're interested in the description below I have a bunch of Amazon affiliate links with a bunch of pinstriping supplies thank you alright folks welcome back to the via pinstriping page if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for watching so today we're gonna continue on this design with some hot rod gens green alpha enamel and a number one I'm sorry number zero Kafka scroller brush so again we're trying to do something a full color design um, I do have various videos on each other color um, each video is full time full length um, regular speed just like you're seeing right now and you know for the folks that like to see those longer videos I thought I'd go ahead and make a, a series of these to where y'all could see the entire process done in real time so again I'm just going to try to add some weight where I feel like the screen could add to the design um, I did spend a little bit of time looking at this so I kind of have an idea of where I want to go in the end it is still going to be mostly in the air I did notice that right here I wanted to sort of support these blues <clears throat> this is a brighter color so we're really going in and out of of color values uh, which which is uh, I don't want to say frowned upon but it's definitely a, a unique choice with this with this art form you generally want to go with the brightest on top but again <clears throat> this particular style really really requires you to play with the colors from what I've noticed so you got to get real comfortable with colors pretty quickly <clears throat> let me make sure that we're recording yeah we're recording And I don't want to go too crazy with this green. Um, I did consider maybe one or two very small accent colors after this. But we'll take a look and see how I feel after I get done with the green. this point I just kind of want to add where I feel like it's missing a little bit of something and I did want to make an announcement I'll probably make another separate video about this but um, it looks like I'm gonna be able to go to that museum in Youngstown, Ohio on Father's Day weekend uh, looks like uh, a, a decent amount of the artists are going to be able to uh, go up there and do some pinstriping at uh, an event for the weekend so that's I think June 19th and 20th it's going to be a Saturday and a Sunday so there, there will be some on-site pinstriping going on where we could show the world what we can do and I'll probably well, actually I think I'm gonna erase that part <clears throat> I'll probably be pretty nervous because 
the caliber of folks that uh, are a part of that event are, you know, veterans to the craft. So I might do a lot of standing around and watching, <laughs> but I'll see if I can dip my toes in the water and not mess up while I'm there. I think somebody did mention wanting to bring a guitar for me to do, so that would be fun. So if you're anywhere near Ohio, Youngstown, Ohio, and you're willing to make the trek, um, I'd love to see some folks up there, say hello, shake some hands. First I thought about flying, but then I saw it was a 16 hour trip by car, so I might actually drive up there. Now let's see, we got these three lines that come out here. Kind of wanted to do a wrap around with these, with this green somewhere. But I hadn't quite decided where. Let me see if a little teardrop shape here would add something. You can see I'm just kind of following some lines that I see. Following some shapes that stand out to me. And that's really what this is about, is everything can be sort of an anchor for something else. Uh, an anchor for another color. You know, you try to consider what colors might work well with each other. What colors you can bounce off of. And you really learn by doing <clears throat> over and over what works and what doesn't work that's where the practice comes into play folks you do enough things that you don't like and you realize you don't ever want to do that in public <laughs> So I don't have a tremendous amount going on with the green right now. And I kind of want to keep it that way. So uh, I did hit a little loop there. I'm thinking maybe another loop coming in this way somehow. Let's see if I can do one. I'm going to do one anchoring off of here. Hopefully I don't mess it up and I don't have to wipe it off. Now the one thing I will say with this alpha enamel, it is it does cover better, but it's a little bit of a thicker paint. Um, I don't know if it's from the way it's made, but you do have to reduce it a little bit more and sort of finesse the paint before you can get it the right consistency that you might want it. But in the end, you're gonna you're gonna have to finesse any paint you get, so there's nothing wrong with it just all preference I like that it's a little busy but that's sort of the deal right it's all busy just splashes of green Trying to think of where I could throw like uh, another one of these, maybe. I'm 
let's see, there's nothing here, so I can't overlap and have to erase. So I'm just going to take a look and see what happens if I do this. Sometimes these teardrops going out can sort of give you almost like a hair look. It's almost like it's bursting out, right? I like the way it looks. I'll see maybe, maybe I could find a spot over here to do the same thing. Try to balance it out. And what you do is you look for a little corner like this, something where you can start long and end little. So a nice, just something to anchor off. So I see this shape here, if I could find one Oh, I don't know. Maybe here. Be nice if I can get it to go this way. Cause it kind of got in here. Maybe in here. Maybe these. take a look I'm gonna try I'm gonna try off of this purple now I probably would have turned quicker but there's a hole right there I kind of want to avoid that I think that's something you got to deal with when using a skateboard deck as a panel. It's kind of interesting looking through the camera. It gives it a little more of a of a different dynamic. <clears throat> See here. Kind of want to finish these off with little little ones. Right. So I'm actually liking the way it looks. Um, Maybe a little bit of green down here, just something. Here, and maybe something in here. <clears throat> so we'll take a look where I have a chance. So, maybe just, maybe I'll just follow this here. Some small, small little doodads. Now I, I I put the dots, the green dots, on the end of the the wheat looking things. And I have another one here where it went from thin. I pushed down, it went thick. So let's try to have some. Some regular regularity to that. And see if there's any more that I missed. The purples have the yellow dots. The blues are looking like they're getting the greens. <clears throat> so, I mean, if you've seen, 
If you look at some art, you'll notice some things go together. Purple and yellow go, go together pretty well. Blue, green. Hell, there's even a color blue, green, right? I remember sort of having my mind blown when I first saw blue, green when I was a kid. I was like, oh crap. It's like a combined color. It's blue, green. <clears throat> All right, so we threw some down here. I have to take a look at that, see if I if I dig that, actually dig it or not. The rest of it's looking cool to me. Um, I'm thinking just something in here. I really don't know what. I guess I could. Maybe try some more of these. I really don't know. You know what? I do have that purple line there. You don't really spot these shapes until you really get a, get a good look at them. I mean, it's it's so buried under everything else, but it's there. And what this does. <clears throat> Because it's so thick and goes to thin, I, it, uh, to me it's like it's like I'm gaining negative space back, even though there's something there. It's like I'm gaining something back that 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 feels more solid than all that crap that's underneath it. Just like this part and that part, like there's a, lot, there's a lot of crap underneath there, but all you see is that burst, you know. So I did a couple of blue ones here. I'm going to try to do the same thing with these greens. Um, maybe I'll bring them down a, a small bit. <clears throat> now I'm not really feeling those I guess the first one I liked the second one I didn't so if you don't like two but you like one you can erase them and just make the one really thick I like the shape of the slight S. And just keep an eye out that you're not hitting any wet paint, which again is another reason why I like to uh, wait until the other colors are dry. If I'm going to work on something this uh, elaborate. So always make sure that mineral spirits, I use mineral spirits to wipe that off. Always make sure that's dry. If not, your paint's just going to skirt all over the place. Or it's going to blot. Like watercolor. So let's just, I'm just going to make it thicker and more elaborate. I might even give it a little hook. So I'm going to go over this twice, right? Giving it this little hook just gives it a little bit more, I don't know, more of a scroll feeling versus just a teardrop shape. Just 
kind of hooks back. So we got something going up, we got something coming out. Do we need anything in here? I do not know. I got a hook right here that I can put a dot in. It's almost like a little bow tie or something for its neck. little finishing dots just to say something's coming after this and then it's like pew. <clears throat> I don't know I'm feeling pretty good about it um, this is really the only thing that I feel like something else could happen in there versus what I have but I'm gonna take a glance from afar I don't know folks, I don't think I could do much more to it. I feel like there's enough balance, there's not too much green. Um, I don't think adding any other color is going to give anything else to it. Um, I feel like overall the red, the red, the red kind of makes it and everything supports it, you know, which is what I want with a full color scroll design like this. Now, I have a gap here for my name, which I might put down, I think. Maybe I should, I don't know, do red? What do you think? That's the other decision. What what color do you do your name in? <laughs> I should probably just do gray, since I got so much damn color everywhere. So... That's basically it folks um, it was done primarily with the Kafka scrollers um, I did use a number three for the first color because I really wanted it to be thicker than the rest and I think the rest of it was done with this number zero maybe a number one at some point and um, hopefully you enjoyed that I'll put the other videos in the comment section and um, at some point, I'll put my name here, but I'm not going to do anything else to the design. Um, if you can, take a glance in the comment section um, for the other videos. Description, I got a bunch of links to Amazon where you can get this paint, you can get reducers, you can get brushes. Uh, I don't believe Mr. Kafka is... Um, Putting these on Amazon anymore, but you can you could find these on Steve Kafka's website if you're interested in getting these brushes um, But anyways them links do send you to Amazon and it's a great way to help support the channel if you purchase Absolutely anything through those links uh, It does send me a little bit of money back at no extra cost to you. It's just a great way to help support the channel um, again, I'm gonna be in Youngstown, Ohio um, June 19th and 20th, Father's Day weekend. Um, please correct me if I'm wrong on them dates. And I'll try to make a separate uh, announcement video on that. So let me know what you think in the comments section. This is a finished design. Um, I'm unsure what I'm going to do with it. I, the reverse side has a big old design that I kind of gave up on. So I did consider keeping this. I have very little art that I've kept for myself. And being that I've gone through so much with this one skateboard, uh, front and back, uh, I thought uh, maybe I should just keep this one. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. And uh, 
If you can, hopefully I'll see you up in Ohio. Take care.